blocked by an ancient gate, but if you can find a Shianti cube, I know how to use it and open the gate. Or to open the gate. This is madness, exclaims Jen. The western span is the only sure way to cross the chasm. Ugh. It's gonna be dice, isn't it? Oh no. You just want to know where you could find a Shianti power cube. You want to know more about Leandra's plan before leaving the mines. I want to know where to find a fucking cube. Will you attempt to cross the chasm by the way the western span that is now controlled by the Dracarim, or will you try to cross by the way the ancient Shianti bridge to the east? This is... pardon me. This is a hard choice, but whatever you decide, it is clear that you will need a Shianti power cube to assist you. You ask Jane where you could find such an artifact. The old man points his finger to the west. He told you that you'll find a... Shianti power cube? Oh no, I like that. Between its shores and a cliff and the cliff wall lies an abandoned mine. The villagers call it the Old Hot Spring Mine. They once worked a rich vein of Bronin there, but their excavations accidentally revealed a Shianti chamber. Jin tells you that the cubes were found there and that he immediately recognized the danger they posed. This is why the mine was sealed and abandoned, but now your chances to success of success depend on those relics. These relics. Jesus. Before Jen can give you more precise directions, Leandra intervenes. You're going to get a power cube to open the gate, aren't you? But when you hesitate to answer, the girl grows quickly impatient. Well, I'm not going to wait all night for you to decide, she says. What? Brusquely? I have no idea what that is. I'm going to the bridge now, I'll be waiting for you there. Whether you choose to show up or not, that's your decision. I wonder if you're actually capable of making the right choice or not. And with these harsh words ringing in your ears, Leandra storms off. In uneasy silence, you and her father watch as she disappears into the trees, regardless of the danger that awaits her there. She'll be the death of me yet, sighs Jen, wearily. With Leandra gone, Jen's anger turns to remorse. He regrets having lost his temper with her and prays that she will not fall into the hands of the enemy, as he did. Believing that you have decided to attempt to cross the chasm by the western span, Jen gives you some useful information about the Shianti power cubes. The cubes are very unstable and dangerous to handle. They generate a strong discharge of energy when they are activated, but they are not physically destroyed in the process. Before you go, Jen reaches into the leather sa satchel he has slung around his chest, and he removes a, folding, a folded bag made of a shimmering silver material. This collinium bag will keep a cube safe until the time comes for it to be used, he says, placing the bag in the palm of your hand. You thank him and stow the... Stow the Corlini Corlinium bag in your backpack. The time has now come for you to leave the mines and make an attempt to reach the chasm. The way you choose to get across to the far side of the chasm is a decision you have you still have to make. Or have still to make. Still have to make makes more sense. Do I get like two choices? Oh, there's one. No, that's where I need to go. That's the mine. We have to go far. Holy crap. Monumental Oak. And Lakeshaw. There we go. Can I make it there without fighting? I doubt it. But you never know. Weirder things have happened. Ah. Uh, okay, we're good. And we did it. Wow. Surprising. I do. Yes. On your way to the old hot spring mine, you pass through the forest and become aware of enemy activity in the middle distance. Cautiously, you advance through the snowy pines until you emerge from the trees on the shoreline of an unfrozen lake. Its surface is wreathed with misty vapor. You kneel and dip your fingers into the, into the water and discover, to your surprise, that it is warm to the touch. This lake is being heated by a geyser of boiling water escaping from a fissure located at its deepest point. You make your way around the shoreline of the warm lake until you reach an area littered with large boulders. Now you can hear the sound of Giax talking and the splash of something nearby in the lake. Peering through a narrow gap between the boulders, you hear your heart misses a beat when you see what is on the other side. A group of Giax are gathered at the edge of the lake, striding towards them. From out of the warm water comes a fearsome, fearsomely large reptilian creature. Moonlight glistens on its green scaly hide and glints on the long sharp fangs protruding from its, oh, powerful jaw. It is a Gorgaz. Or Gawagaz. Oh dear. Is that the thing that's from the cover of Lone Wolf? It like shows Lone Wolf about to hit something and it's massive. It also looks like a lizard. You don't master this discipline. Once you have gained the higher ground, you taunt the enemies into attacking you. No. You move stealthily among the boulders looking for a chance to ambush the enemies. Yes. 
There are several small geysers and thermal vents located around this part of the lakeside. They discharge great plumes of st scalding steam into the freezing night air. You position yourself directly behind a steam vent in order to stay hidden from your attackers until the moment comes for you to launch a surprise attack. Unfortunately, things do not go well. The Gorgaz's senses... Or Gawagaz's sense of smell is very acute. It detects your sense be scent being carried towards the lake by this flow of steam, and it growls with quiet menace. You glimpse a chilling sparkle in its cruel eyes the moment it pinpoints your location. Fighting here will not be easy in a, in a close combat situation against such a massive opponent. Your hiding place will fast become a trap. You hurry away from the boulders, desperately looking for a place where you could take full advantage of your agility. The great beast comes lumbering towards you. Exhilarated by the chase, it moves upright on its hind legs with its... Thick tail swishing from side to side. The Geeks follow close behind, but not so close that they risk being flawed by a swipe from the creature's powerful tail. I think that is it. Oh my god. It could be. We'll see. Oh Christ. You know that you cannot flee from your enemies, so... And so you turn to face them as soon as you find some good ground for this deadly fight. For Summerland and the Kai, you cry, but the Gawagaz is upon you and catches you off balance. What? So stealth was not a good idea. <laughs> I guess. It's just the Gawagaz. Okay, that's not the thing from the cover. It's an alligator! It's not that big, fucking hell. 4,000 health. Oh Christ. Ew, it fired. They've gone berserk. Oh no. Oh, they do a lot more, I think. Oh wait, wrong, wrong button. Here we go. I'll do this. Because this will do a good, um, a good amount of damage, I think. There you go. They're both dead. Oh. Oh god. Oof. Ooh. Wait, so am I not able to do any sort of attack on it? Oh no, I am. Alright, good. Phew. It's gonna say. I'm not gonna be able to get 350, am I? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I am. I don't think I can block this fucking thing. It's massive. Oh, no, I can. Holy shit. Oh, I don't get to counter, though. That's a shame. Are you serious? I somehow knew it was going to do three hits. Oh, this is a tough choice. Oh, shit, my stuff broke. Something broke. I'm not entirely sure what, though. Oh dear. Whoa! <laughs> he made a noise! Hyah! Wow! We killed it! I need to repair my stuff. I think it'll be my sword? Yeah. The cool thing about durability though is I don't think it'll ever break. Like, I don't believe it'll ever break, break. It will reach a point where it's, um, it just, it's very, very ineffective. Like, it currently is. So we got dried, floroa, floroa, flora fungi, leather, and a Volco blackberry tincture. Lovely. Mm -mm. Sorry, I have to keep my throat hydrated, especially when I'm reading all the damn time. The fight against the Gawagaz severely tested your strength and stamina. It was a grueling combat, but you are still standing, whereas your enemy will stand no more. It was easy. Mindful of the threat that there may be... That there may be other enemies lurking in this vicinity, you leave the lake shore and press on through the dark and frozen timberland beyond. Oh, we'll be going down to the bottom left. Yeah. Before that, I'm going up north to the Brotherhood encampment. Yeah, I can meditate, it's fine. Holy crap, I lost a lot of health. It hit me three times, though. So... It took off... About one and a half thousand, I think. Yeah, because I got... Uh, 600 taken off me from... A regular Giac. 
prick. Well, it was an enraged one. So it's not so bad, but still. We made it. Would I like to talk to the merchant? Yes. Definitely. Uh, I don't need to rest, so that's fine. Upgrade. No. It's not an upgrade. It's a repair I need. I only need superior leather. And one steel to upgrade that once more. Ooh. Oh, it's when it gets to lower than half. Okay. I'll repair everything. Two gold crowns. So I need steel, superior leather. Oh, that, that's what I also need for that. Ooh. That doesn't need... Kai probably does. Eh, 24. That's fine. That needs so much. Oh my god, that needs so much. So, for this... I need one steel and one superior leather. For that I just need one superior leather, so I need two superior leather. Oh wait, no I don't. I have three steel, I need like, three more steel. And then for that I need more superior leather. Shoot. And some steel. Fuck. I'll upgrade my weapon. Wait, superior knife scabbard. I have zero, it costs 192. Sure. I guess. I mean, it should be good. Oh my god, full grain leather satchel. 16 slots! What the fuck? I'm not made of money! I wish I was. God damn. So much stuff. Right, we need superior leather and steel. Oh, this doesn't do superior, does it? Oh, bugger. Well, I can't upgrade then, can I? I can sell some stuff. I don't know what. Superior throwing knives? I've got 12 of those. Regular throwing knives, I also have a fair amount of them. Oh no, that's buying back. No thanks. Um, I don't really have anything to sell. Not really. No. Alright. Well, the way I'll do this is inventory, equip the superior scabbard, and sell it. And sell my old one. Gives me two intelligence though. So, the scabbard. Plus three dexterity. Oh dear. Next, yeah, I have this. Which is plus two. Ding. Don't look any different, so that's good. Uh. Alright, I have to go back onto the map to sell to him again. Great! And then we can go to the story place. I'm running out of money quick, though. Hmm. I don't want to buy any of those. No thanks. The one thing that is kind of interesting me is that. I don't have enough, though. <laughs> Maybe if I buy the scabbard, I will. Yeah. Then I might have enough to make repairs. Actually, yeah, I will. Uh-huh. Because I always find good stuff. I'll sell all my throwing knives. And I'll equip my superior ones. Oh, there we go, that sells for quite a bit, but that's upgraded by two. Oh, that only gives me one dexterity then. It's because it's been upgraded twice. That I'm able to... That it, that it gives me so much. Okay, that makes more sense. Sell all of these. Yay, I got... Oh, wait, I can just do that. Hooray! And now I'll buy the very good bag. Because I think it'd be a good idea. To be honest. Right. The the good bag. There we go. 16 slots. Jesus. That's fucking impressive. 16. It will have automatically equipped. Yep, there we go. So now if I go in this. There we are. Wow. Oh yeah, they only give you 8. What the heck? So that's double. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, back to the merchant to sell the bag. Yeah. I'll also see if I can upgrade my knife scabbard. Like my current one. Although I have barely any money, so I highly doubt it. I wanna be... I wanna keep a bit... of stuff. Uh, the bag, 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 bag. There it is. Bag. 94. That sells for quite a bit, actually. Yeah. 
I want to leave myself with at least a hundred gold. Just for repairs. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, here we go. And I can't upgrade it. I need superior leather. Straight away. Wow. Alright. Okay, back to the, the game, I guess. I need to equip my knives. As well. Before I forget. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It's like, where the fuck are they? Oh, they're already equipped. Never mind. When you run out of the other one, it automatically equips the correct one. I'm also going, like, all over the place. Right, now that's done. Down we go! Oh, we're fighting. Oh, I knew that.